I'm happy to introduce today's guest. She's a millennial apparel designer who is proud of her Caribbean heritage, and her pieces are designed to bring joy, confidence, and beauty to everyone who wears them. Welcome, Lizette Folks. Hi. So I feel kind of like this is a special edition of kind of Caribbean cook up. Because okay. you are representing not just one, but two islands, yes. Jamaica and Puerto Rico. So how is it that your background kind of influenced your designs? Um, my background definitely influenced my designs because I find, you know, different things from my culture. So it could be color, print, texture, food, um, music, and I definitely incorporate all those things into my designs to make it fun, light, and energetic. Right. So how was it that you decided to become a designer? What was it that inspired you? Um, I was inspired by definitely my surroundings. Um, when I was growing up, I had a lot of different people in my life that brought the arts and music and um, performance arts. And I met someone when I was younger who did jewelry designing and she had her own shop. And it really inspired me to see someone do what they love and make a profit off of it. And um, she still has a store now in downtown Brooklyn. And it definitely was an inspiration for me to kind of see how I could do it myself. Okay. So you started doing jewelry designing at a really young age, like yes. 14. Yes. I started, she was my inspiration. Mm -hmm. And I started at 14 and I took um, classes to see how I could do it on my own, um, put my own spin on it. Um, it was definitely a learning experience because okay. I was trying to find my creative voice um, by seeing what she did, mm -hmm. but it definitely was giving me the opportunity to grow and expand and take what she did and kind of incorporate it into my lifestyle and what I wanted to create. But she, was, she definitely showed me a way to make that happen. Right. So you were talking we were talking earlier about how it was kind of challenging when you told your parents, like, hey, I'm gonna be this designer. So what did they want you to be? And how did you uh, well that? my mom, she definitely wanted me to get a secure job <laughs> and my aunts, they're all teachers and principals. So it was that path was set forth for me. And I love kids <laughs> and I love teaching, um, but I knew that I wanted to do something different mm -hmm. and I wanted to express my creative voice, um, whether it was through singing, dance, art, performance, but I had to find a way to incorporate all those things right. that I loved, painting um, and you know, fashion and design was what drew me towards that. Right, so you've actually done some really like interesting things. You were working for Tracy Reese for a period of time. What was that experience like and how did that help you when you decided to make yeah, the leap? Yeah, I've worked for a few, um, well three, women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and it's definitely taught me um, with, through high school and up to Tracy Reese how to be a, a woman and just start your own business and how you can sustain it and how you have children and other responsibilities um, within your life. So. All three women have definitely showed me um, how that's possible and have put me under their wing to kind of guide me towards that direction. With Tracy Reese, um, we definitely worked a lot with collections okay. and um, runway, and I helped design a lot of accessories there. So in my time working with her, mm -hmm. I was able to come back to the fact that I love accessories, that I love right. creating jewelry. Um, You're wearing it right now. Yes, Mine's very I'm nice. wearing a pair of my earrings from this first collection that I've made. Um, and it definitely gave me the opportunity to express myself through her to say, you know, this is something that I could do on my own. Nice. And so you have now made the leap from working exclusively for someone else into your own company. So talk about Jam and Rico. Yes, well, Jam and Rico just started um, this past June um, officially. It was nice, very nice. Thank you. It was a process, um, a loving process for a <laughs> while to definitely figure out what I wanted for myself um, after designing for others and seeing what I'd be able to um, create on my own mm -hmm. and where I was going to find my inspiration. Um, what I was going to design mm -hmm. and what people would be interested in purchasing. I know I, what I want to wear, but right. to design for an audience that was um, accepting of what I liked was what it was a challenge. So 
It was a loving process, and in June we had a launch party, and mm -hmm. we were able to sell to family and friends, and right. we've been growing since then. Right, and you went Essence Block Party, you sold stuff there, that yeah, was really nice. Yeah, it was amazing. That was a really great experience. Essence was a great partner, mm -hmm. and they welcomed us, and we were able to sell to a, an audience that I couldn't imagine, and we made a, um, a lot of connections there, and I was excited to do more festivals and events like that to kind of bring people to us so they can get to know us and more. Where can they find your beautiful jewelry? Where can they um, you purchase? You can go to uh, jamandrico.com. It's Um You can purchase uh, my first collection, which is up there now. And you can also go um, to Instagram at jamandrico.com also. Nice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is great. You. And we will be right back.